Hi friends. Today we're gonna be here in my office again, but we're not working on this side. This side is already done. I don't know honestly still who has this ASL book or where to put it because I don't like I don't know if it's ours, but you'll need like unknown book in here. So here is this side of my craft room. If you haven't watched me organize and declutter and straighten up, this is Chelsea or Ashley's craft cart here. This is Ashley's craft corner, AKA Taylor Beads Station. <laughs> On this side is my desk, and I like to have it just as organized as it is right now. <laughs> this is like perfect for me, even down to a little snack, little M&Ms right here. So that is a family bag, so it's left open, people can snack on it. But I love my little ambiance that I have here. I've been lighting candles here at my desk now that I don't have holiday candles burning in the house like the rest of the house. But if you have seen my little Hawaiian shelf, my little Hawaiian inspo, and I collect different things, which we're gonna go through all the things in just a minute. But problem is that I also have this shelf over here. We're gonna talk about that shelf here in just a second, but this sign is actually where my YouTube name came from. I made this sign, learning the technique. I just like the word create. I like to make craft projects. I made this sign. I made two more for friends. Suddenly had the idea to create a YouTube channel. What do I call it? Dana creates. So that is why that sign is there. Been trying to figure out if I can create like a logo. I'm pretty sure it has a Hawaiian inspiration. If you guys want to help me create a logo for Dana Creates, DC as like a short little logo. We can talk about that in a minute. But this is my corner. This is my inspiration. I'm going to take the inspiration of Hawaiian, all these like nice colors that I like to have in here all year round and redo this entire shelf up here. I have done like the whole farmhouse look and that's what this shelf used to be until I collected all these things for Hawaii. And now this is no longer my vibe. Also time to declutter. And I am decluttering stuff out here on my um, shelving and my decorations in the whole house. So why not take the time right now and declutter and get rid of some of the farmhouse inspired stuff. This is my space. I no longer want to decorate with a lot of that stuff and I kind of want to space out some of the decor that I have collected or have been gifted from a lot of you and I want to be able to collect more in the future. I'm often like oh I shouldn't buy that. I don't have anywhere to put it when we go to Hawaii. It's my place and I also have one more like decoration. I don't even know where it is. I need to go and look for it. If I can find it I'm gonna need Jason's help to put it up. It it's the wooden Hawaii map, wooden pieces of wood, all cut out with the Hawaii map, all the different islands, and they're all separate. And I really want to put it on the wall. I don't want it, like I've never wanted to like actually decorate with that map on the wall in the rest of the house, because it doesn't match like my decor or whatever out there. But it's certainly wood right here. But I need to find it. I've tucked it away so that it didn't get lost or broken. And now I've lost it. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything off of all the shelves. We're gonna climb up here and we're gonna climb up here and everything is coming off. Everything Hawaiian or the things that I want to stay are gonna come down here to my counter and everything that I want to donate is going to go into a box out here. And I'm gonna go grab that box. Picture frames are obviously not my, this, like this frame here isn't the style. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to do with the frame and that picture um, cause I would love to frame I'm actually wondering if I should hurry and order like a big 11 by 14 photo of our last photo session in Hawaii and get that um, sent off to like Walgreens so I can pick that up and maybe go to Hobby Lobby Michaels um, and get a get that framed and actually put that one up there because it'll like obviously like be the vibe and I, I mean I don't mind having that photo but maybe I can put that photo um, out here <sighs> but it doesn't have oh it does have all the kids and it's a cute photo it just doesn't it goes with farmhouse vibe not with Hawaiian vibe and I also might need to go to a craft store. I like those flowers, but we'll see if it's the right vibe once I kind of get like the Hawaii stuff or if I want to add more greenery, which I thought I needed to add some more greenery, um, maybe like a little draping plant or something to put up there. Okay, I have to admit this is a dead orchid. It's been up there for years. <laughs> No idea. That's gonna go in the garbage. That's gonna go in the garbage. Um, these are going to get donated. Done with them. I'm also donating all of that. Don't know what to do with these pictures. These are our engagement photos. Our little babies. And this is our baby Ashley. This is the only like photo session I ever got done when my kids were born. I don't even think we paid for it. We just got one photo. And then our doctor put it in that frame, which was super sweet because she knew it was our last kid. 
so <laughs> I think it, maybe if I add some more color to these flowers um, I don't know that I would necessarily pull from this one because I love how colorful this one is it's also a really good backdrop for when I film here at my desk so maybe I will add different colors um, to this bunch when I go look at like Hobby Lobby so the shelf up here is all cleared off do you want to see how dusty it is up there sometimes I don't think we like show our dirty selves very much can you see how dusty that one is up there too? Pretty bad. So I'm gonna not dust that one until I dust that one because I get kind of allergic to the dust. I'm just gonna do it all at once so I can wash my hands. I forgot this one. This is a picture of a poppy. My uh, One of my best friends from growing up lived next door. Her mom still lives there, but she passed away when Ashley was little. Actually, she was a newborn and um, Poppies were her favorite flower. About a year after she passed away, I should say, her mom said that this flower bloomed in their yard. And so she took a picture of it and she sent it to me and she said it's Anne's poppy. So I have had that for 10 years now, almost 11. So I'm going to keep that. I think it has the right vibe. So we'll keep that. Next up is to take all of my fun things. I'm literally gonna show you everything that's on this shelf because I think it's really fun. And again, we're gonna need to order some photos. And we're at, here's another photo. So I think that is in the cards. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to like order them and pick them up today, but that will happen. Okay, both shelves are cleared off. I think it's easier to clear them off than it is to clean and redo them. But here is all of my stuff. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, wipe everything off, and then I will show you all the things, maybe if I remember where they're from or who they're from, we'll kind of go through that too. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you because I'm not really sure how to get back into this mode of joy this stuff brings to me because I just had a really negative interaction with someone on texting and um, part of it involved a dig at us going to Hawaii. I am trying to not let that affect me for the rest of my day. So I'm just going to kind of call my um, jittery voice here really quick. I know that so many of you, while you would love to go to Hawaii or you would love to go again or have just gone yourself and, and understand the desire to go back. I know that you're supportive of us being willing to share this part of our life with you, whether it makes you jealous or not. You don't ever show that to me and I appreciate that because I know that I get jealous of other people's abilities to do other things and have bigger homes or nicer things or any number of things and jealousy can be a hard thing and I just need to let that person have their feelings and kind of move on from that and be happy for what we get to do in our life and the blessings that we are blessed with and the abilities that we have to do things with our kids and with each other and to be able to share it with you guys. So let me get back to my joy, which is all of these things that remind me of our fun trips and fun gifts from you guys. That will be, it'll bring me peace. So let's just flip right back around and I will tell you about all these different things um, from Hawaii from you guys that bring me joy. All right, this guy, I don't know where I think, where I got it. Maybe just like at Hobby Lobby or something, um, but I painted it myself. And then I got that little flower from probably one of our first trips to Hawaii because we don't buy that kind of stuff anymore. But I have had this for a very long time and I love to have that on display. All right, this cute guy, hopefully you signed it, but I don't think you guys did. Some of these are just so cute. I think you purposely left it so that I could just use it as a decoration. Yep, so I don't remember um, where some of these things came from. If you guys sent it to me, you can leave your comment down below just so that we know um, the special friend that it came from. Um, but I love this. It's just a card, but it is absolutely cute. It's got like multiple layers and textures and it's just super cute. Um, I got this one also from one of you. I think this one was from Patty. She just saw it at the store and just thought, that would look great on herself. Literally, she's like, that'll look great on herself, which brought me a lot of joy. I got this guy in Hawaii. It's just a bamboo cutting board. They sell these at the grocery store here as well. It's just Aloha Bamboo is the company. I got this years ago. It's just fun to pick up this kind of stuff because then it's a fun either decoration or I could put it in the kitchen and actually use it, but I just think it's a cuter decoration to begin with. So then this is our latest photo from Hawaii. The only problem is that the stand on it <laughs> goes this way. So I have to kind of prop it up against something when I display it up onto the shelf. Um, but I just loved this pattern a lot, even though I knew the picture going into it was likely going to be this direction. Um, I might try and make a different kind of stand or make this go the other direction somehow um, to make it stand up better, but it's been working just fine. I've got this little pineapple and this little pineapple jar that I picked up, probably just Hobby Lobby, Target, Dollar Spot. I'm betting actually that this one, I when I cleaned it, I think I remember seeing. Yep, we all know what that little $3 sign is. That's from the Target Dollar Spot. So it's fun to pick those up, um, but I got that years ago. 
Here is another card, and this is what's fun, is that I have these little messages. This is probably um, a little gift card that was attached to that, um, but this is from Michelle, and I love that I attached the letter that she put in with the gift that she sent, um, but I also love that it's from the Diamond Resorts, because <laughs> that's the little timeshare spiel that we had to listen to to get one of our excursions when we were in um, Maui. I think we went over to the Pink Hotel, so thank you, Michelle, for this cute card. I do have that on display. I just think she's so cute. So this little guy, I made him a long, long time ago. There's two sides to it. I've had the pineapple side on display, um, but I think I'm going to turn around to the coconut side. And while I was taking it off the shelf, <laughs> the hot glue came off. I don't think it really matters. I don't know. I'll worry about putting hot glue on there. I don't want to get my crafts out, but um, I thought that was really cute when I made them. I had a whole sheet of paper that had a, um, all these different uh, pieces of art that were Hawaiian, and I made a bunch of these little blocks and stands at the time. Okay, this guy here is actually a luggage tag, um, but I just think it's such a cute decoration that I have had it in my Honda Pilot um, until Abby took over using my Honda. So now I just have it out here and it actually like sits right down. It's a wooden piece from the Coco Nene store. And so it actually fits in the little slots right there. Um, so I've been just kind of attaching it there. There is a piece missing on this guy. I don't know where it is. This isn't the one that goes on this one. So this guy and this and that frame are all from the Coco Nene store, um, which is my absolute all-time favorite Hawaiian store. But like I said, there's one piece missing behind here and I don't know where that went. Um, maybe it's this frame. I don't think so, maybe it is. But I don't think that frame, oh it does. So this doesn't go there, okay. So that, that's what it was. I think I just got it mixed up when I was um, getting everything down. So that fits in there. So I need a picture for this guy. Um, and then I also need a frame for this photo. Again, that one's from our luau on Maui. The first, no, second time we went. Yeah, second time we went to Maui was the luau. So I need to get a frame for that guy, a little five by seven and a little three by three for this one. And then this guy right here, this is from Patty. She ordered these on the Coco Nene website um, after the Maui fires um, and they have these Maui strong ones and I think uh, some of the proceeds go to um, the victims of the fire and whatnot so I, I could be wrong on that but I'm pretty sure the Maui strong is one of their little donations and then this is the other um, sign that I have from the Coco Nene store. Um, I just, I love them. They're so cute. Actually, I think I have one more somewhere, something. I'll find out. I got this Maui um, patch from one of you, but I don't honestly remember who. So again, let me know who gave me that one. Then I picked up probably my second Hawaiian ornament when we were on Oahu, Jason and I, for our his 50th birthday. I just think it's so cute. So I'm going to display it year round. Who cares if it has like lights and Christmas ornament or Christmas, yeah, ornaments and, and presents on it. Oh, it's going to kill me. Who sent this one? Patty, did you send me this one? This is the problem. I need to like write your names on these things because they mean a lot to me. Clearly I saved this stuff. This just had another piece of greenery in it um, that I used for my little scent sticks. This one is actually dead and gone. On, so I'll throw that one away. But I took out the greenery in it to um, just leave it plain and then I can put just the next stick in it. Then I just have a generic candle that I can light um, if I'm feeling like it. I don't think I like the scent of this one. So it's just lighting it real quick for like ambiance or whatnot. And then, the, well, that's the last thing that's from the other shelf. So all of that is just fun stuff. And now, how did I miss you down here? How did you fall off? This is from Michelle. You know, her, <laughs> her art and her talent by now. She made this cute little pineapple apple and he goes up on the shelf for sure. Oh, here's the other frame that I need to get a picture for. That one there. I've also gotten that one, but I have a picture in that one. I've also gotten this at the Coco Nene store. What else have I bought from that store? I'm trying to think. Right here. That's what this other piece is, right down here. This guy right here. So you can actually do it as a stand. Just put that guy in there and then it stands up. So it looks like I need one, two four by sixes, a three by three, and then an actual frame for a five by seven. Okay, these are gonna be empty shelves. <laughs> I'm starting to put stuff back up here. I, I need stuff to go behind, fill in space, and I know that I could use these boards. I might use this one. I just don't want the wood look. Kind of just over that. I don't know if I should use that white like window frame. I just don't want that look. So anyway, I'm gonna have to figure that out. These might be bare for a little while. Um, we're gonna see how it goes, but I thought it would be fun to show you my empty notebooks. <laughs> these are all notebooks. You guys think I'm joking when I tell you that I'm um, kind of obsessed 
with these notebooks. So these are all empty. I've never used any of these ones. And everything up in that bin, those ones are all used. I just think it's fun to keep. I don't know if my kids are ever gonna look in them or it's just a little documentation. I don't know. But they make me happy. So this one I think is what one I'm gonna use next. The only problem is I literally just started this one. So I won't be using this one till maybe the other half of this year. I don't know. So there's that one. And then I have that one. These ones are usually just cheaper. They're when the ones that don't have a ton of design on them. There's that one. I could also give these as gifts. So um, I might do that with one of them. So there's another plain one. I did like these leather ones, but now they kind of seem boring to me. Girl power, I'm not in love with that one. If anyone wants this one, let me know. I can send that one to you because I'm not in love with that one. Plus I need to like find ones that have this pocket in them because I like to put things in the pocket and some of these ones don't have pockets in them. So there's that guy. This one is really cute. And then this is the last one. This is the biggest one. They're not all the same size. There's definitely like more pages in this one. So those are all of my notebooks. This will take me years to use. So <laughs> I don't know why I just buy them every time I see them at the store. They're just fun. All right, here's where we're at. Obviously we have lots of dead space. So I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go to the craft store. I like this little section here. We've got height, we've got threes. I always wanna do like odd numbers. You wanna group them. So we've got one, two, three, even though that there's a lot there. You wanna do them in groups of three. And then I just kinda of threw in that little pineapple there. So like obviously we need to do something different here and I need more height here. So this may change. I've got my basket there with a little notebook that's like tropical. Um, I've got one little notebook here that has like a tropical vibe to it. It. I attached my little luggage tag right there with the little Hawaii logo as well. And then this side obviously needs stuff as well. I do like this little corner right here, but this little bunch of flowers definitely needs more color in it. So what I, I'm going to try and do is get more color and then like take some of the white ones and add it to this one and just kind of make sure that we've got some more color going on up there. Notebooks are in there. I like the little vibe here. This guy can probably get moved over a little bit, but something else needs to go there, but not too much. Like it can't be like too distracting. And then I need a way to kind of keep that little pineapple from falling over. So I might come up with a little way to keep that guy up there. But I think I'm achieving my little sanctuary goal of having this be a space that makes me happy. Definitely like catching that vibe. So that's where we're leaving it here. Oh, I forgot a few things. So we got a little bit of height with this guy. Forgot about her. Put that back up in here. We'll probably change things around a little bit, but we'll put that up there. And I forgot my little, my little challenge. My conquer, that's what it's called. My road to Hana conquer. You see the other side. Cute, that's really cute. Find a way, I just need like height. I had this draped over like in a larger, probably one of those frames or something. So it just needs to kind of get displayed somehow. I actually might get like a different lay, but it's kind of fun that this is what it came with. But for now, We'll just display it. Kind of tuck some of the lady behind. We'll change it. We'll change it, but like that's kind of cute. Okay, here at Hobby Lobby, this is literally what I have already. <laughs> And floral is 40% uh, off. So I might get like, not the white one. Actually, it's like a lime color. I might get one of that one and one of that one and then look for more tropical ones. Okay, I'm kind of having fun with this because I found these like leaves. So I might get like, take some flowers from my other, my other um, vase, swap out some white ones into that one, use some more color, and then actually get some leaves for the other one as well. And I think I just found the perfect like tropical vibe to go with this. But I think I might I gotta get colors that work or just not do these two and just do these because like that, that's a fun vibe. All right, this is what I'm going with for the one base on the one side. I haven't decided if I'm going to do flowers on the other, but we're going with this so far. And then I'm looking at frames. I think I'm going to do this one, but I'm going to wait because there's no sale on frames this week. So I'm going to wait and order an 11 by 14 of our beach photo. And then I like that photo frame, but I'll come back and get it. I'm going to just see if there's, I kind of like the weathered look of that one, but or like this, but I'm also going to check it. Marshalls and see if I find anything for cheaper. This one's 20 bucks, but I'm gonna see if I can get one cheaper. Okay, back at home, I only got these and some stickers because the stickers made me happy today. They were only like a dollar fifty. They were on like the what 40, 50 percent off sticker sale or whatever, and they made me happy. So I got those. Got these and the greenery. These ones are a little bit expensive per pick. They were ten dollars a pick. So I didn't get more today. Maybe I'll go back and get more another day when I have a little bit more money. But I just wanted to get these um, and see what they look like and see how they, I don't know, we'll, we'll just see. But I can also put some white flowers 
mix with some colorful ones and put those up there as well and just kind of have flowers on both sides. All right, this face, well, I, I do like it. It's too tall and, and I need, it's just too tall. All right, so I need to cut these down a little bit more. Found this face, I actually just washed it. Had the greenery in it from Christmas over there in my kitchen. And I found some rocks that I literally almost donated. And I think this will look a lot better. I'm just gonna use that to kind of hold them in there. Like I said, I'm gonna have to cut them down just a little bit. They are meant to be kind of tall, but I also forgot that I had like these guys that were in that bunch. There's two or three more. Yeah, there's one, two, three more in there. So I could either like add it to this or I could do like another bunch with just these guys up there, which I think would be pretty and just pull those out of there. And that will still look full because I'm gonna replace it with the white ones, put the white ones in there. So let's see what I can create. All right, I absolutely love how this has turned out. It's very like clean. I actually wanna put it down here on the desk, <laughs> but I'm not going to. I think that needs to be up there, um, but I do love how this one turned out and it looks great up there. That definitely helped like the height issue. Didn't find anything else to go here except for the picture frame, which we'll deal with later. But then I went through the other bunch of flowers and I found all those and like the little the other blossoms. So that definitely helps over here. But maybe someday if I have a little extra cash, I'll do a duplicate of that one because I do like it and I think it would look pretty here. And then maybe I could do this like down here or I don't know, we'll see. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna show you around one last time and I'm gonna be done for the day. I have some work to do, but this inspires me to keep looking at it and figuring out what we could add. This area down here, this is mainly where I work, in case you're new. Again, that is Ashley's area over there. I need to find a place for that photo. And then we have the craft area over here and all of my donate stuff. I'm gonna go out to the garage and we'll take it. Thank you for joining me as I kind of, it's almost like full circle. We've gone through this area here. We have gone through Ashley's um, craft supplies in that little cart, put away Christmas decorations, Christmas wrapping paper, I should say. We've cleaned up Ashley's space over here. Jason's space is obviously cleaned up as well. Um, start the new year, clean up a space. It doesn't have to be this big, huge thing. It doesn't have to be a big project, um, but maybe after you've organized it, make it pretty, add a thing of flowers, add a candle, add something that makes it happy for you. And uh, that way you're gonna want to clean it, keep the space clean and organized going forward so it's not as much of a project going forward. So thank you for joining me today. Um, this kind of stuff, you can see my screen, there it goes. That makes me happy. And it makes me want to get things done as I'm working here in my office as I like to call this um, used to be the craft room but it is Grand Central Station this is where everything gets done both me Jason Ashley um, the kids have all the there's some extra supplies in here as well so the more organized it is and the prettier it is the more likely we are to get things done so I hope you guys like this thank you for all the gifts if you have seen the things that you have sent me on display here thank you because it is a part of who i am and who our family is because you are here with us so um i appreciate it i'm not just putting them on display and then taking it down as soon as i'm done with this video you will see things up all the time so thank you for that thank you for sending those things and sending a part of your friendship to us so that we can display that friendship for all to see and um, thank you for joining me. Um, I, it just feels like a good reset. Like this is, this is good for me. I'm feeling very refreshed and happy and that's what a space should be. So find that space for you, even if it's really small and make it your own, make it pretty, light a candle and let's enjoy this new year. Take care you guys, see you next time.